but trying to write this into this personal development program today has been really interesting because it's a real paradox. It's hard to it's hard to explain how we have we create everything in our reality with our will, but then also explaining, t- telling people, or suggesting that they should surrender their will to a higher power greater than themselves. Hello, beautiful souls. It is day 16 and today I've been actually working on a personal development program that a friend of mine and myself are actually creating. And one part that I was working on today, there was, there's an, we have eight action steps that make up this program. And one of these actions is actually the, the fourth action. We have the individual needs to basically make a decision to accept where they're at, to make a decision to give appreciation daily for themselves, the things in their life and the world. It also includes a section about taking responsibility for our own creations. And then it also leads into the final section section of this of this action which is surrendering our will to a power greater than ourselves and it's just such an interesting paradox because i know that <clears throat> for so long in my own personal experience for years actually i had been in this kind of understanding that everything was just totally free will every part of our lives was just pretty much we created everything in our reality and i really fully subscribed to that belief system wholeheartedly and in my mind that meant that predeterminism wasn't so much of a thing but then i came to this point where i believed that there was actually a blend between free will and determinism where there was actually like 60% of our lives is predetermined and the remaining 40% of our lives is down to our own free will and the style of which we will go about our lives in in fulfilling that 60% that is predetermined. And I really, for so long, really struggled with certain events that came to pass in my life and and my experience where it was like certain things that happened in relationship that I blamed myself for and fully took responsibility for my own actions. But the real part that caused so much pain was that aspect of like, if that was a free will decision, then, oh, that means I've messed up my entire life beyond any kind of reconciliation of what could have been. And it's that part that really hurt. It was that part, it was that kind of feeling of being disconnected from source that just really hurt as if like I could, myself as the human could do something that would completely steer my life in a completely negative direction forevermore. So it wasn't until last year that I actually came to terms with the fact that, and I had learned more about, that predeterminism is a thing and that almost everything that we experience in our lives is meant to be. It's predetermined. And that free will is actually more of an illusion because no matter what we're going to choose we're going to decide to follow the path that we were always going to decide to follow anyway but trying to write this into this personal development program today has been really interesting because it's a real paradox it's hard to it's hard to explain how we have we create everything in our reality with our will but then also explaining, telling people or suggesting that they should surrender their will to a higher power greater than themselves. And I found that it is an interesting paradox, but I see see how it works. 
And so today has just been an interesting experience just to try and get my knowing down on into words. So it's been fun. It's been really interesting. And it's also really interesting as well, creating this course with my friend who his background has been more about like kind of personal development from like I'll be careful what I say here because it's I can't just judge him just like I can't really judge anybody but it's interesting because I've almost studied exclusively or primarily spiritually channeled content for for years now whereas my friend has been studying much more about kind of almost I would say traditional personal development like the likes of say Tony Robbins or no names are coming to mind but yeah there's plenty plenty of people that he's that he has studied and it's really good because it's interweaving all of these different principles and all these different ideas and myself I am a projector in human design and my friend is also a projector in human design so we have that we have that kind of we're able to perceive and have that kind of insight on a certain topic or subject or event or situation and just know the answer we're able to project our consciousness into that thing and then we'll just figure it out not all of the, not all of the time of course that's just a very that's a generalization but I can see how we work in that way and we work really well together in that way as well it's we it's a good little team we've got going on and I'm really excited about what we're creating it's an it's an eight there are eight actions that make up this program and it's going to help people it's going to be a great help to a lot of people and a big part of it as well as facilitating connection between people so we'll have like an apprentice and a leader uh, for example a leader is someone who's already been through the actions or most of them and is then able to take an apprentice essentially under their wing to be able to guide them through the the actions as well and just help them along in that way and then that apprentice will turn into a leader and guide others through it as well and we're all we're basing it on essentially it's all it's all done in a kind of democratic way so if there's any kind of changes that need to be made to the program itself or or the foundation itself uh, it will be like vote based and everyone will have a say and it will be very it's very open sourced and crowdsourced as well so it's not like um it's not like a cult where like one person is like the ringleader and if you don't accept the narrative of the cult then you are excluded from the cult it's not like that um it's it's much more open and uh and versatile i suppose but very effective as well we're building it to be the most effective and efficient machine that we possibly can so it can really make a good impact on people's lives and help them out for the better. So that's the intention and that's what I've been working on today. I also went for a run this morning as well, which felt really good. Uh, I still need to do my yoga. Um, I'm gonna only do a little bit of that today because yesterday I did restorative yoga, which I needed because um, the yoga for some reason started catching up on me and I started feeling, I was, pushing myself into certain positions of quite a lot and it, it had left me very achy so I'm gonna take it easy again today and then tomorrow I'll be back on it I've done a bit of meditation today as well as part of my top lines which is good and yeah I that's all I have to say for now so wishing you all a great day and a great weekend. Much love to you all. Bye for now.